Hey guys, I'm back with another deck review. It is called the Souls on Fire Tarot. Now I checked it up and it's it's self-published. It's only available on her website. So the website is soulfulrevolutiontv.com. I don't know if that's so soulfulrevolutiontv.com. Okay. <clears throat> this is a 79 card deck. And it's created by Mary Jo Cran Mary Jo Cran Cranmore. Oh my God, or MJ. Now MJ was a TV presenter in America for years, and in two thousand and sixteen, she decided she'd had enough of getting up early in the morning and whatnot, and she wanted to live life on her terms and get out of bed when she wanted to. She had been reading tarot since she was a teenager in high school, so she decided to start. Um, living her life as a tarot reader so she started soulful revolution uh, which is her youtube her main youtube channel on or in 2016 the artwork for these beautiful cards is done by juliet gilden now look at this beautiful box i mean i love the pink it's just gorgeous it's just a regular tuck box okay um the cards are just perfect um so soulful so if you if you google soulful revolution not google youtube soulful revolution you'll find her main channel and then she has three spin-off channels from that and i've written them down so there's souls on fire tarot or a t oh god lord i can't talk today souls on fire tv there's the soulful zodiac which is obviously all zodiac stuff and there's MJ's Learn Tarot, which has only started two or three weeks ago. So there's about roughly 10 videos maybe up on that. That's a fabulous channel. I'm really enjoying following along with that. Now, I've been learning tarot for over four years now myself anyway. Um, but I always love to watch other people's um, kind of beginner tarot videos and stuff. Because you learn something from everyone. So I watch everything. So yeah. So she has four channels soulful revolution souls on fire tv the soulful zodiac and mj's learn tarot but if you go to the soulful revolution page you can see all the rest anyway you know so this is the box okay the cards are slightly thicker than your regular right away smith deck so they are a thicker card stock they're glossy but not like ridiculously glossy like I'd be comparing them to, I got the Radiant Wise Tarot at one stage, but it was way too glossy. You just couldn't shuffle them without them all flying all over the place. So I got rid of them. They were doing my head in. This is these are glossy, but they're not as glossy as those. Do you know they're 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 easy to shuffle. They're great for riffle shuffling. They're because of the glossiness, then they're they're very durable. Um, they have these amazing amazing backs. With this geometric pattern and a butterfly of transformation right smack bang in the middle beautiful they're not edged they're amazing cards so let's fly through these and i'll show you now the, this is the major arcana first right the major arcana cards um the death card is completely different first of all now, the death card is my favorite card so i would have preferred the original uh rider with smith but the image she has is beautiful um, I think she wants to kind of make the scarier cards more friendly, you know. Um, so that's the only one that's completely different. Um, there's others that are kind of slightly different. Um, again, just to make them a bit easier to take. Um, what I've noticed on the majors. Now I meant to bring, I meant to go upstairs and get a document. To, actually, you know what? I'll pause. I'll come back. So sorry, I just ran off to get a document that I wanted to show you. So if you Google Major Arcana Timing and click on Images, you'll get this document. Okay, so it gives you the timing for all the Major Arcana cards. So what I noticed um, Mary Jo did in this deck is, like some of the cards have no timing indicated, right? But some of them do. Like the High Priestess is the moon. So the moon is in the image anyway, right? Uh, the Emperor is Aries, so there's an Aries symbol in the card. So if you look on the clothes generally of the people in the cards, you will see a symbol for either whatever star sign it is or whatever um, planet it represents, okay? So I'll show you as we go along anyway. So we have the Fool card first. Now the Fool 
the timing is when you least expect it and it's air or Uranus. So I'm assuming the symbol on the fool's dress is Uranus. I don't know if you can see it. See this? See the repeating symbol all over her dress? Okay, so that's the fool. These are all so unbelievably gorgeous, lads. Wait till you see them. Uh, so we have the magician. Now the magician has no timing indicated, but the energy moves quickly along the tra trajectory and it's Mercury. Now I haven't, I don't think, found a symbol for Mercury, but anyway, uh, it's probably there somewhere. Oh, the name of the card is here and the number again is hidden in the card as well. So the number is on his pants here, so number one, okay? So the numbers are hidden and also a symbol for the star sign they represent or the planet, okay? Here we have the high priestess, how cool is she? And I love the way she has her back turned to you because the if you were asking a yes or no question, then the high priestess doesn't want to tell you the answer. She wants you to figure things out yourself. So she's turning her back to you here as if to say, no, I'm not telling you, do you know? So I love that she did this. The Empress, Venus represents the Empress. Uh, the timing is likely to depend on at least one other person. And here we have the symbol of Venus anyway, which is already in the cards anyway. Um, here we have the Emperor, which is Aries. And I see the number there on top of his crown. Card number four. The Hierophant is Taurus. And there's the symbol on his lovely blue uh, cloak. Gemini. Gemini is, or the lovers is Gemini, I should say. <laughs> the chariot is Cancer. So there's crabs all over the chariot there. These are amazingly gorgeous cards. The strength card, oh yeah, the strength is different too, I meant to say. Strength is Leo. Now I don't know if there's a Leo symbol. Some of them I haven't spotted yet. But the colours, lads, look at the colours. Oh my god. These are well cute cards. The Hermit. The Hermit is Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune is no timing indicated, but a lucky sign, Jupiter. So I haven't found the Jupiter symbol yet, I don't think. But anyway. So you have numbers to look for in these majors and you have the astrological symbols to look for. This is my card, Libra, which is justice, I should say. The Hanged Man. How cute is he? The Hanged Man, where am I? Delay is no timing available. Water, Neptune. Do you know what I love about these two, right? Because, do you know what I'm saying? They're, they're uh, glossy, so they're durable. I love that sound. That's the sound of a good quality, durable card. Talk about ASMR. <laughs> I love these cards. Now, look at the death card. It is beautiful. Look at it. It's the metamorphosis. Beautiful little insect after coming out of its cocoon or whatever. It's a beautiful card. Temperance is divine. Look at her. Temperance is Sagittarius. Sorry, death was Scorpio and the Temperance is Sagittarius. So this is my daughter's card, actually. The devil is really cool. Look at that. You could either look at it as a fiery red or you could look at it as danger. Both of those things would. Yeah, colour is a big thing in this deck, actually. Colour tells a lot about the meanings of the cards, which I love. I'm big into colour. The tower card is beautiful. It's different. It's a house burning down. Um, but you can also see the crack in the ground below it. Do you know? Because the tower card is obviously a tower built on a, an unstable ground anyway. But here, because it's a house burning down, there's cracks coming in the ground underneath it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tower. I love this. Very modern. The star is 
gorgeous. Now the, star, so the tower is unexpectedly and unavoidably with force, Mars. And the star is Aquarius, which is my husband's card. Look how beautiful that is. The seven stars that are in the, the star card are making up a, a bikini on her, which is really cool. Sorry, there's eight altogether because there's one, normally one big and seven others. So there they all are. What a beautiful star card. The moon has a beautiful lady in it. I like having people in my cards. So this is gorgeous. I really appreciate this. The sun is so cute. Love that. Judgment is really nice. Did I miss the wheel? I didn't. Um, judgment is lovely. And the world. Now the one extra card she did put in is this gorgeous raising consciousness. And in my mind this is Mary Jo herself because this is an image that's on the um, do you know, the little pictures on your YouTube channel. She has this image as well. So I I think this is her, you know, a drawing of herself. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. But this is a gorgeous card, Raising Consciousness. So this is like once you've gone through the full cycle of something and your consciousness is raised. You know, you've, you've kind of moved to another level. You've learned a certain amount, which I think is fabulous, fabulous card. Even though, <laughs> I'm going to sound crazy, but I have this thing against um, prime numbers. So 79 is like totally, it's an uneven number, but it's also a prime number. So they really annoy me. I, ca I can't, oh, I sound crazy. I can't have the television volume on like 11 or 7. 9, I don't mind too much because 9 isn't a prime number. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> but I love the extra card in this deck, so I don't mind point of the story so we get into ones so ace of ones two of ones three of ones i am going to pick my daily card after with this and i'll be doing another video four of ones five of ones look at the colors i mean how gorgeous Six of Wands, Seven of Wands. My husband picked this last night for himself and he says, what does this mean? So I told him, I says, that's when your boss knew was ringing your text you over the next few days telling you to do this, this, this and this. I said, you say no. <laughs> he was laughing. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Persevering. Ten of Wands is really cute. So instead of logging them along on his back, he's he's carrying them in front of him. But that means he can't see where he's going, of course. So, you know. There's far and against the different ways of carrying things. Page of Wands. And we have the little gecko thingies on the t-shirt. Knight. These court cards are just the cutest things ever. I love them. Look, look at the horse, the horse sideballs. They're just so cute. How fierce is this queen of wands? And all the symbology is there, lads. Even though there's kind of no backgrounds around, and like they would be in the right away at Smith, or at least some bit of background. Even though you don't have the background. You have all the symbology, which is, is what's important. And he's cool. He's a man of business. So, swords. Martha's favourite suit. I hope these do them justice for you. Ace of uh, swords. Two of swords is beautiful. The colours really make it. Three of Swords, nice traditional Three of Swords. 
four of swords. Five of swords. Six of swords. Seven of swords. I love this. Those colors. Oh, just love them. Eight of swords. Nine of swords. This is cool. Ten. And again, the really cute um, court card. So page. Knight. This horse is eyeballing you. The queen is gorgeous. Look at her. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You have all the chakra colours there as well. So you can get so much from the meaning of these cards. And the king. Now, cups, lads. These are so cute. I love them all. Page. Overflowing. Sorry, page. What am I saying? Ace. <laughs> the two look at this. Absolutely amazing. Now, this is my favourite three of cups. I was looking at it with my friend yesterday, I think it was, and she, um, I said, look, that's you. I said, this must be me because we've decided this is our friend Joey because he's a, he has long hair and he's always like flopping it around the place. So we decided that's him. So that has to be me. And that's my friend Leslie because she's blonde. <laughs> so we decided that's also on our nights out. The four. Five. I love the six. Very beautiful. Seven. Eight. Now I have to show you, I love in the eight, how the missing cup that they're going off in search of is up there in the universe. So, you need to ask the universe and let the universe um, guide you to that missing cup, that one thing, the one thing that you think is, you know, lacking in your life. The nine of cups and the ten is beautiful. Look at this. I love it. Page. I got it right this time. This is the page. <laughs> the knight. This queen is gorgeous too. I love all the queens actually. And the king. So one more suit. Uh, the pentacles. So ace of pentacles. Two, three, four. I love the five. The five is gorgeous. The six. I love the colors in this. Because of my slight OCD, I'm really kind of a believer in the red and green going together, blue and yellow, pink and purple, etc, etc. So when I saw this first, I was like, red and blue, interesting, but I just think it's divine. It is divine. I love it. My favourite six of pentacles. Seven. Eight of pentacles. This guy is hard at work, perfecting his craft. This girl is enjoying all she's worked for. Now I don't see, the only thing is I don't see a snail and I do love the snail in my nine of pentacles. But it's okay because it's a beautiful card. The ten of pentacles is gorgeous as well. Look at that. Love it. And finally the courts page. 
Knight. He's so cute, that horse. Queen. She's amazing. And the king. Look at the king, right? He has his money. He has his um, staff thingy or whatever you call it. The um, the bowl or whatever is on his clothes. The, the fruitfulness is here with the grapes and there's money falling all over the place. You can see all the abundance he has, you know, in, in all the areas of his life. So, that is the Souls on Fire Tarot. Um, I'm not going to shuffle and pick a card because I need to um, shuffle them anyway and do my daily card. And then I want to do something else as well. Something um, Martha from Mystical Empowerment had up on Instagram yesterday. Um, it's those, you know, tarot fun. So where you find a card in the deck and then you look at the card before it and after it and they tell you something about that card. So I pulled those cards yesterday with this deck um, before I put them back in order for the deck review. So I just want to make a little um, sample reading video with this deck. Um, so I'll put that up as well in a minute. So I hope you enjoyed this deck guys. If you have any questions about it please do let me know. I'm thinking of doing, um, I know I started it before but I never finished it. And then I actually uh, sold the deck that I started using. Uh, was a tarot lesson series. Um, I only did, I don't know, five or six at the time. That was about two years ago, I'd say. Um, and I don't have that deck anymore. But I'd rather kind of start again anyway with, with a, a newer deck that I really, really love and that I know I'll never get rid of. Um, so I might start it with this, okay? So, please do leave a like and comments, guys. Um, give my, if you find this through my... Facebook page please give my Facebook page a like and give my YouTube channel a like so thanks a million guys I'll talk to you soon bye